All right, YouTube, what's happening? We got a unboxing from my medic today. We've got a couple new med kits that they just launched. Actually, the things like they came out a little bit ago, but that was a little bit of a supply chain issue. So these just got to me today. So let's check them out, shall we? Boom, look at that guy. Big one and small one. All right. So what do we got going on here? This is the MyMedic Sidekick. And this guy is the MyMedic Mini, MyFac Mini Pro. Um, cool QR code if you want to see it in action. There's a video on that. We'll take a look and see what's inside of these in a sec. So kind of a bigger one. Um, let's go ahead and start there, the big guy. One thing I'm gonna notice right away is that they have this laser cut molly on the outside versus the old school, the other style that they had, like the regular molly. So that's a big improvement right there just from the get-go. Same kind of strap, same rip-away design here with the Velcro on the back. Um, what's cool though is they've actually like got a strap back here that's kind of Velcroed and hidden. Um, if you don't want to use it, like a shoulder strap. So that's kind of cool too. So let's open this guy up. Nice flat dark earth color. Kind of more coyote brown, I'm gonna say though. Flat earth. There we go. Oh boy. So we got a little bit different layout than, than some of their other IFACs that I have. So let's take a look at each little apartment here. Uh, over here on the left, we've got bleeding control, uh, mini gauze. You've got a compression bandage. Here we've got some quick clot. Um, hemostatic dressing. It's a rolled kind, which is good. And then we've got a rapid tourniquet. Would prefer a cat, that's okay. Uh, burn shield, nitro gloves. So these are these little burn things are awesome. So this is one of their burn mods, mini burn mod actually. What I love about my medic is how well they organize their kits. So when you open this, you're not like, what the heck is everything? It's all labeled. If you don't know first aid, don't know what you're looking for, you could still be useful in a situation because you can easily see things that are labeled. So dig that. So you got bleeding and burn over here. Uh, here we've got some, a, a nightstick here, topical mod. So you've got some basically like cleaning pads. Uh, you got some wound irrigation. That, that sticks actually handy if you can't see. So you got some super skin band-aids here, which are awesome. I love their band-aids. Ibuprofen packs, uh, some painkillers, and looks like an emergency blanket. So this has got, this is a really full kit, man. This comes with a lot of stuff. On this one, so you got this little divider that folds in half, which is nice. We've got some fracture, um, spine and fracture mod. Excuse me, not spine, sprain and fracture. So we've got a finger splint and a self-adhesive roll there. So in case you break your finger, dislocate it or something. Some hydration and some face shield looks like. Yep, CPR shield. Over here, we've got a uh, check your pupils dilator. Not dilator, but you know, flashlight to check your pupils. Um, mini wound closure mod. So we've got some super nine strips. These are awesome, by the way. They're kind of like, um, so you got wound closure strips and one skin glue. They're kind of like butterfly bandages. We've got some even more advanced um, Z zips. These are really cool. Like I would have loved to use this when I cut my shin open really bad and I ended up using uh, Vetabon. This would have been better if I would have had them at the time. I just didn't. Um, but they basically allow you to close up a wound. Um, really, really cool. So, you know, in case you don't have sutures or you can get by without doing sutures, this is going to work really well for that. So really advanced um, wound stuff here. I like this. Wow. You even got a um, nasopharyngeal airway. <laughs> I should not know how to say that. I don't know if that's right. Um, size 28. Contains one of those. A lube, gloves, hand wipe. So... Don't do these unless you know how to do them, though. Chest seals, big chest seals. Man, these are bigger. They've changed these a little bit. So there's some new new branding on some of their packaging. These chest seals look a little larger, too, than the ones I have currently from my medic. Uh, paracord, okay. And we've got some tape and some sutures back there. Not sutures, um, shears. So this is a absolutely loaded pack, guys. Like, this is definitely advanced when it comes to you've got i don't know what you couldn't handle with this 
I don't know how I'm going to zip this sucker back up is the question. <laughs> how they did this. It's magic. Um, this is a very advanced kit. This is going to... The only thing this is really missing is a like decompression needle which you shouldn't be doing anyway unless you got training and uh, a good quality like cat tourniquet or soft tea i don't love the rats tourniquets all that much so um com especially compared to those other two options so you add one of those you can use some of the range there's those billy bands that my medic sells throw it on the outside of this throw one or two and you've got a really really advanced ifac so that is cool very loaded up let's check out the sidekick Guessing by its size, it's a lot less uh, into it than this one. But I love these new pack of the new um, pouches are awesome. Same rip away, same design, also with a strap. So if you want to take this hiking or something with you and just take this as a you know, um, little kit to have, awesome. Okay, we've got six compartments on this one. So we've got a bunch of super skin band-aids, which are, I tell you, the best band-aids I've ever used. Um, much better, much more higher quality. They stick longer than most of that. You got some ibuprofen and some burn. So I love the burn. I noticed a, a lack of burn gel in a lot of first aid kits. I had a friend get burned the other night. We were just hanging around the campfire and she could burn her finger pretty bad and she got second degree burn. And um, I went out to my first aid kit and I had some burn gel in there. It was gone. So that sucks. So and that, and that stuff works great to relieve pain. So my trail gloves, little first aid cheat sheet here. And then some uh, antiseptic towelettes. Okay. Over here we've got some hydration. Topical mod again, some cleaning wounds. Some more super skin band-aids. And triple an antibiotic ointment. So this is more of a basic boo-boo kit, I would call. This is a good boo-boo kit, though. Really, really got good stuff in it. Um, so yeah, not trauma. This is more... Your basic, hey, look, I've got a, uh, a, you know, a cut that I can use a Band-Aid on. you got a ton of Band-Aids on here. Um, there's quite a few in here. 30 of them. Yes, those are awesome. So 30 Band-Aids on that one. So really good quality little boo-boo kit. Um, so these are two different kits. What I like about what they've done here is this kit is, is different than this kit, right? This is what most people are going to use on a day-to-day -day basis and need. Uh, even if you're out hiking or, or camping or whatever, most of the stuff um, in here will get you by, minus like some, you know, insect repellent, uh, burn or sting relief, stuff like that, basic stuff. But overall, a good little kit in case you get caught or wounded on the trail or something. So it's kind of more basic, but what I like to call a boo-boo kit. So I think you need one of these, and it needs to be separate from this. This is your IFAC. This is your uh, Stop the Bleed kit. You've got everything you need to, again, I'd like to see an upgraded. Oh, I like these new. Oh, they're not Velcro. They're actually like a clip-on metal. That's pretty cool. I like that. So that's never going to come off. Um, looks really good, too. So two different kits. You need both. You need this for major emergencies, bleedings, car accidents, gunshot wounds, knives, stabbings, all kinds of nasty stuff that you probably won't ever really encounter in your life, but it, you need to have it. This is the kit that's gonna get used a ton more because it has your basic needs. What I would actually even do is take, um, I would take like some of these guys, put them in here, um, maybe even like these super strips there. And yeah, I would probably put these in this kit. Um, instead of the trauma kit, because these aren't, I mean, you can bleed, but you're gonna be able to go get suture, right? This is more cut related. This is more heavy bleed related. So I would actually put those probably in that pack as well. I might just transfer them over myself, um, but everything else in here, you're solid. You got compressed gauze, you got um, your pressure bandage. You got your, like I said, rather prefer a better tourniquet. Um, you've got your quick clot gauze, everything you really need. Um, for trauma, chest seals, and the airway. So I would actually move those over to that kit. And I think that kit would be really good for a boo-boo kit. So, and I like how small and compact it is. It's very small. You don't have to use this. If you want to take this back part off and just have the Velcro, you could. Uh, you could obviously molly this to something or you could um, use the strap. Let's take a look at that. 
actually. They both have one. Which I think is a really cool idea, personally. What am I doing? I don't need to do that. So, look. Check this out. Take that guy off for your adhesive. Now you've got a little shoulder strap um, type bag. You can throw this over your shoulder. You might even be able to rock that as a fanny pack, actually. Should I try it? Let's do it. You're not going to be able to see it. Totally. Eh, it's a little tight. Loosen that up a little bit. You want to anyway, especially if you're going to carry it around your shoulder. The way it's going to fit. Yep. You can absolutely 100% have a little mini fanny pack on you with your medical supplies. Now, it doesn't open. That is one, I guess, negative. Using it as a fanny pack, it doesn't open this way. So you'd have to kind of like position the zippers. You could, yeah. You could just wear it like this, position the zippers like that, and then get into your kit while it's on your waist. Absolutely could do that. So cool little hiking, you know, uh, or you could throw it on your shoulder. Um, you could even add like a little mini survival kit in there too. Did it have a blanket in there? Emergency blanket? It didn't. So you could add like an emergency blanket. You got some space in here. Um, maybe like, you know, something to make a fire with. You're good to go. Cool little uh, kit to take on the trail with you. That way you have something to stop the bleed. But what I, or uh, to deal with minor injuries, not really stopping the bleed too often with this kit, but cool that you can run it as a fanny pack too, or a shoulder sling bag, whatever you want to do. I love that feature. They're adding that to the, all their new kits, as you can see here. This has got it also. So you just remove this back piece and voila. You've got the big strap, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching this unboxing. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll put the uh, info in the comment section or the description below. Um, and since this is an unboxing, I'm not sure of the cost of these off the top of my head. Typically, you know, gonna run you a pretty good amount of money for a good quality kit like this that's fully stocked. You know, you're not just buying a pouch and stocking it yourself, which I do recommend doing also. Um, but if you're looking for a complete kit that you don't have to worry about, you just buy it and put it in your vehicle or your house or, um, your bug out bag or whatever you want to do, then I would definitely, yeah, I really like it. This is a fanny pack idea. I think that's pretty slick. Um, cool little pouch. Now, again, it opens like this and this is all kind of sideways, but it would work. It would do the job. I'd add a few things to this kit and have a nice little, uh, fanny kit, uh, fanny pack kit. All right, guys, wrap up the video. Check out the description below to where to buy. I am an affiliate with MyMedic. These were provided uh, for your cost to me. So um, yeah, probably gonna add one of these to my upcoming giveaway. So thanks for watching and see you next time.